Drums. Tools. My two favorite things, so it may be a bit of a surprise that I don't own any drum multi-tools. Well, actually, I own six of them now. So as a user of drums and tools, I wanted to take a look at all the multi-tools I could find to see which one I liked the best. So here's the lineup going from cheapest to most expensive. First is the PDP Drummer Multi-Tool, the Gibraltar Drum Tech Multi-Tool, the Pearl Tech Tool, the Groove Tech Drum Multi-Tool, the Mono Drum Tech Multi-Tool, and finally the Tama 9-in-1 Multi-Tool. So I'm going to break it down into a few categories and rank each tool which should hopefully give us a clear winner. So first is number of tools which will give us the price per tool. The PDP costs $10 and has 6 tools which gives us a cost of $1.67 per tool. The Gibraltar is $12 and has 9 tools so that's $1.33 per tool. The Pearl is $16 with 13 tools, which is a cost of $1.23 per tool. The Groove Tech is $17 with 14 tools, so $1.21 per tool. The Mono costs $20 and has 10 tools, which is a cost of $2 per tool. And the Tama is $24 with 9 tools. Technically, there's 10 since there's two drum keys, so depending how you look at it, that's a cost of $2.67 per tool or $2.40 per tool. So when it comes down to cost per tool, the Groove Tech is the winner with the Pearl right behind it, followed by the Gibraltar, PDP, Minel, and last, the Tama. With all that being said though, do you really need all of these tools? So let's take a closer look at the tools on these multi-tools. Most useful would be a drum key. Imagine that. All of these multi-tools have a drum key, and again, the Tama has two, so we're off to a good start. The next most useful tool would be a number two Phillips driver. Some throw-offs and butt plates use Phillips screws for adjustment, but also most lug screws have a Phillips drive on them. So all six of these multi-tools have a number two Phillips on them, but the Pearl also has a number zero and number one Phillips. Then the Gibraltar and Groove Tech also have a number one Phillips. Next in line, I would say would be hex keys. Some pedals, like mine, use hex screws, while other pedals use other types of drive, so you may not even need a hex key. The screw on my pedal is a 5mm, which all of these have except for the PDP. And all of these multi-tools have a bunch of hex keys, which you may only need one or two, and the rest are kind of just filler. So that maxes out all the tools on the PDP, but the one plus about it is you could actually switch all the bits that you don't need for ones that you do need. Oh, and it also has a carabiner. The next tool in line would be a slotted screwdriver. If you play old Ludwigs or Gretches, then you definitely need a slotted driver to adjust the snare wires as well as your lug screws. But other than that, you'll probably survive without one. I guess it would come in handy for saggy mic clips, or if you have a super old sonar, then a slotted driver would work as a drum key. The Pearl has three slotted drivers. The Tama has none. The Gibraltar has two. The Groove Tech and Minel have one, but one from the Gibraltar, the one from the Minel, and one from the Pearl are built into a bottle opener, so in my eyes, this is the only acceptable form of a slotted screwdriver. So that now maxes out the Gibraltar, let's check out the rest one by one. Technically, the Pearl is maxed out too, but it does have this thing, which I thought was like a folder outer thing, since it has this tab on it, which isn't very comfortable to use, but I think it's actually supposed to be used as like a stop when you fold out the tool so you can get more leverage on it and the tool isn't really flopping around. So it's not really a tool, it's more of like a, a feature, I guess, but also it's the perfect size to use as a moon gel scraper. On the Tama, there's a keychain loop. There's also a 7mm socket for lug screws, which is the size I'm guessing that Tama uses, so you probably want to check if your lug screws are that size or not. 
But probably the coolest thing about this one and the thing that sets this one apart from all of the others is there's a slot for loosening over tightened wing nuts. Yeah, you could do the whole two drumstick thing, but this thing is a lot less clumsy. The Groove Tech has a ruler that goes up to two inches. I honestly don't know why you would need this for drums. I could maybe understand a tape measure, but a tiny little ruler, I don't see why you would need this. You could use it to like clean out between the drum head and the rim maybe, or you could use it as like a one note kalimba, I guess. And then the Minel has a keychain loop and carabiner plus a seven millimeter socket. But the nice thing about this one is you can actually pull it off and switch it for another size. What I'll do is figure out the size of my lug screws and switch it out for that size. Something else I thought was important was the visibility of these on a dark stage. So the Groove Tech is probably the best because it has red sides and shiny chrome. And then the next best would probably be the Pearl since it is shinier than the Gibraltar. So with all of these multi-tools, I doubt you will ever use all of the tools on them. But as they say, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Now let's talk about the negative. And some positive stuff, basically just my general thoughts on these tools. The PDP has a cool, clever design, but for gigging, you just have a bunch of loose small parts that would be really easy to lose. There also isn't a real home for the drum key, and even when you put it in the other holder, it barely stays in place, so most likely that would get lost first. It is magnetized and has a ball detent, but I still have my trust issues. The Gibraltar is by far the cheapest feeling, the edges of the plastic are sharp, not enough to cut you, but just enough to make it feel uncomfortable, and these exposed threads don't help either. Plus, if you look at the nuts, you can see there's a recess for them that they're not in, but thankfully I have all these hex keys to fix it. And what do you know, they're now loose and sloppy, so jamming the nuts into the plastic like that was probably intentional. Actually, yeah, look at this product photo. They're jammed into the side. The Tama is definitely the biggest of them all, but the side drum key feels the most natural to use when tuning, and when using the other tools, you have the most control with them, since the handle is so big and the tools are so short compared to the other multi-tools. Of course, the other multi-tools work just fine, but they just don't feel as natural as the Tama. Only a small complaint with the Minel, it's slightly annoying to fold out the socket. First you have to pull up the bottle opener, then push out the socket, and then to put it back you have to line up two of the hex keys to go inside first. Not a huge issue, but this is the only multi-tool that is like this. The fitment of the Pearl isn't the best, there's spots where everything is tight and then there's spots where everything is loose, but the drum key is just a hair too long. If you're folding up the hex keys and the drum key isn't in the right spot, the end of the hex key will go into the drum key locking it in place until you open up the hex keys. Which is another complaint with this in general, pulling out the tools isn't the easiest since there's no good place to grab them and you have to rely on your fingernails a lot. The only tool that's easy to pull out is the drum key, but if it gets jammed up then forget what I just said. And no real major complaint with the Groove Tech, everything is smooth and has an even stiffness to it and there's space for you to pull the tools out, but it is just a bit hard to pull out the ruler. So which one is the best? Personally, I would avoid the PDP since nothing is really contained and I know I would lose every single bit. I would also avoid the Gibraltar just because it feels the cheapest out of them all. If you want the easiest to use and best feeling, I'll go with the Tama. It's the most ergonomic and feels the best in the hands. You also have the added wing nut loosener. However, you don't have a slotted screwdriver, but I guess you could use the key ring in a pinch. Eh, maybe not. If you want simple and to the point, I would go with the Minel. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it does have everything you would frequently use. The build quality is high and it's small enough to fit in your pocket. 
But when I think of a multi-tool, I think of something that has everything. The kind of thing that you throw in your bag and never have to worry about if you have the right tool or not. So if I had to pick one, it would either be the Groove Tech or the Pearl. I do feel like a bottle opener is a bit more useful than a ruler, but ultimately the biggest difference in the Pearl and the Groove Tech are the hex key sizes, and the Pearl also has an extra Phillips and slotted bit. I would honestly feel comfortable with either of these in my bag, but I'll probably end up keeping the Groove Tech myself. I feel like more thought was put into the Groove Tech, like see this lip? That's so the tools aren't completely flat, making them easier to open. It's more comfortable than the Pearl, and it just feels nicer than the Pearl, and is a lot more smooth. So if you can live without a bottle opener, I guarantee I could open a bottle with this anyways. Then I will go with the Groove Tech. So there's my thoughts on all of these drum multi-tools. Personally, I don't think any of them are perfect, but that's kind of what you can expect with any multi-tool. But hopefully this video still helps you out. All of these will be linked down below in the description. Also, if any of you have any more experience with any of these tools or have a favorite of your own, then I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. So that's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.